Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to upgrade your Windows 10 computer to Windows 11. At the time of this recording, this is in a beta build. It just was released as a beta pretty recently. It was previously a developer build of Windows 11, but now it's been released to the beta channel. At the time of this recording, you can only get Windows 11 through the Insider program. However, I imagine once Windows 11 is available for general use, that Microsoft will make a media creation utility similar to Windows 10 that you can actually download from online. However, if you want to do this legitimately at the time of this recording, you're going to have to go through the Insider program, which is very easy to enroll in. And all you need is a Microsoft-based account or an email account, and you can create one too during the process. So again, pretty straightforward process, and we're going to go ahead and jump right into it. So we're going to start off by opening up the search menu. And type in Insider. Best match to come back a Windows Insider Program Settings. Go ahead and open that up. So you will need to enable optional diagnostic data if it's not turned on. So it's going to give us a link here to go ahead and turn that on. So go ahead and select that link. And then we're going to select optional diagnostic data. So just make sure that is turned on. And then if you close out of here and you went back into the Insider program, you could also just get to it through the settings. You didn't have to close out of it, but just it's a little bit easier here. Just take us right back. So we're going to go ahead and select the Get Started button. Select where it says Link and Account. You can go ahead and select the Microsoft account and select continue. One important note, you guys do probably want to check out the Windows Insider program. Um, you probably do want to check out the Windows 11 requirements in order to download and install. Before you proceed any further in this tutorial, I don't want to waste anybody else's time. So just go ahead and actually on the Microsoft website, I will include a link to it in the description of the video, guys, that will go over the eligibility for the upgrade. At this point, you're going to go ahead and insert your Windows email address, select next, and then you can select your password, type that in, and select sign in. Uh, we're going to go ahead and select where it says Microsoft Apps Only. You can keep it at all, you don't have to make that change if you don't want to. So you're going to have options depending on if your computer meets the eligibility requirements or not. So it's only giving us the release preview channel option here for Windows 10. However, if your computer was eligible, you would have Windows 11 options here too. So for some crazy reason, it's not actually picking that up on my computer that it does meet the hardware requirements because it most certainly does. Um, TPM might be disabled on this system, but in your case, go ahead and make sure your system does meet the eligibility requirements. There's a lot to go over with that. So don't really want to go down the rabbit hole of any one particular version of the problem. However, if you go to, to this part in the process here and then it says pick your insider settings go ahead and select the beta or the developer build for Windows 11 you would select confirm and then you'd walk through the process you would likely have to restart your computer at the end of the prompts here and then it should automatically begin updating to Windows 11 if not you may need to check Windows update check for updates so you, you would restart your computer come back in check for updates should locate the Windows 11 beta builds you would follow along with the on-screen prompts at that point, and then you'd have Windows 11 installed in your computer. Again, you would have to make sure your computer meets the hardware requirements. And Windows does have a tool for determining that. They did take it offline for a little bit of time because it was detecting a lot of errors. So honestly, probably what this has to do with is maybe the amount of RAM that I gave this virtual machine. I wouldn't be surprised about that. But anyway, if we went to Windows 11 system requirements, and feature specific requirements for Windows 11 here. So system requirements, this will basically tell you right here on this page. You can go to the link I'll have in the description of the video too. These may change, but you can see the processor requirements, one gigahertz or faster with two or more cores. The 64-bit processor is gonna take a lot of older computers out of the running to run Windows 11. Uh, RAM, four gigabytes, which shouldn't really be that much of a problem for most of you guys. Storage, 64 gigabytes or larger. Again, that shouldn't really be a problem. Uh, secure boot capable, 
that shouldn't be a problem for most. The TPM requirement version 2.0, that's definitely going to be an issue for a lot of you guys. Some might have 1.2, and we're waiting to see if Microsoft does relax some of these policies because some of them seem to be hard or soft requirements at this time during the beta process, but they might change these system requirements down the road here a bit. Uh, display, they want at least 720 pixel display. I have very old monitors hooked up to Windows 10 as well right now, so that doesn't seem to be a hard requirement, meaning that Windows won't let you install it if you don't meet said requirement. And you can see that they definitely push for their internet connectivity. So just a little tip here, if you do, once we get a little bit further in this process of Windows 11 and you can just get it right from Microsoft's website, one thing you can do is just disconnect from the internet or don't sign into the internet during the setup process of Windows 11 and they will give you an option to create a local user account instead. So I know that's what I personally do on my productive computers, but again, if you want to use a Microsoft account link, you can, otherwise that's a way around it. So and you can go further down, a whole bunch of requirements here for different applications, and you can see different depreciated features here. So Internet Explorer is no longer available on Windows 11. You can see it says disabled. However, I have made tutorials on my channel and probably have to make another one here for enabling IE mode in Microsoft Edge. It serves as Internet Explorer's replacement if you guys have been living under a rock for the last few years. And pretty much that's about it um, in terms of like the biggest changes. And, you know, obviously they moved the search button. And again, definitely prone to change here, guys. We're still early in the Windows 11 process, but not early enough that we can't start making some assessments about what what is going to be coming and what is going to be heading on the way out. So pretty straightforward there, guys. Like I said, just follow along the on-screen prompts here for the process. Again, it's likely due to a virtual machine issue. I do have this running on another virtual machine on this system. So I know it's definitely not my host hardware creating this limitation, but again, Windows Insider program, as long as your computer meets the requirements, you should be good to go. And you know what, if we go on to Google Wall, I have everybody here. We could do Windows 11 Requirements Checker. And there is a tool that I noticed. Um, it looks like Microsoft might have released the utility once again, because they did take this offline for a little bit. So let me go ahead and scroll down here. Saw the page we went on here. So it was very close here at the top of the search results. Uh, you see the PC Health Checker app has been changed to coming soon, so they still are not releasing it back because it was giving a lot of false negatives. And you'll see the requirements again. You can go through this one by one on your system, but there are tools you can download from the Internet that will automate this process. So we're going to type in Windows 11 Requirement Checker and then just go down to GitHub. So... There we go, should be a detection script there. So you see the publisher is Robert C. Mail. Hope I pronounced that right. You can see who we're getting it from here. Now we're gonna go ahead and select the releases on the right side here. And you'll see a preview for what this looks like. So if you went over to this page, if you went down to the exe file, you could run it. And you would see what it would show in this image preview here. It'll show what you are compatible with and what you're not. So pretty straightforward process, guys. Do advise you able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.